We welcome uh, all the uh, like panelists and the moderators uh, to be in the panel. Naina uh, Kanapan, CEO of 8K Mice Group. We have Prabhakar Pillai, Senior Director, PayPal. Raj Prasad, Senior Director, Trans Union. Madhu Kumar, uh, President, North America, Digital B. Welcome everyone. faster than a traditional IT. And, and you all know a number of IT jobs are going away. That doesn't mean they don't have jobs anymore. In my view, there's actually a lot more opportunities and challenges out there once you move the applications and data to the cloud. And this whole area of big data analytics is, uh, for example, Amazon Web Services launched something called the Snow um, uh, snowball and uh, a snowmobile. Using snowball, you can now transfer petabytes of data in a small box, and you can carry and you can make it internet enable. You can actually um, store data on the cloud and still access it via uh, snowball. Likewise, the cloud is bringing so much innovation. When you look at machine learning and the artificial intelligence. Uh, I don't know how many of you have heard of Alexa from uh, Amazon. 
and that's followed by Google Home, Google Assistant, and now Apple is announcing uh, uh, new AI tools uh, using their Siri, uh, right? And uh, there, there is so much happening around machine learning and AI, and I hope to cover some of those topics today. And just to take the current cloud providers, right? Amazon, today they're, they're reaching almost 20 billion in revenue after just being around for 10, 11 years in business. This is just a subsidiary, right, of Amazon. And you all hear that Amazon is going to be the first trillion dollar uh, company. And when Jeff Bezos agreed to start this AWS business, Amazon.com was losing money all the time. And first time they proved and they showed that they were making money last year. And in fact, today, their Amazon's AWS revenues is five times um, bigger than all other cloud providers put together on the cloud. So, you know, when I looked at Microsoft recently, they just announced a reorganization of their sales. And the speed at which Azure cloud business is growing year, year on year is 93% since last year. Whereas Windows, any normal products that Microsoft sell is only 5%. And Office 365 is about 45% year on year. So I think looking at this, everything is going to be driven by cloud. And it's going to be supported by AI, machine learning, big data, analytics. There's one, one topic which is dear to my heart, as I'm one of the first guys after 9 down to chair many committees fixing the security issue. Uh, I traveled around the globe. So the security is the biggest, uh, obviously biggest threat as data and applications are going to cloud. So today, we have, definitely we have opportunity to cover those areas. And we are glad to have Mr. Ponaraj uh, on the panel, who happened to join at the last moment as Mr. Uh, Venkat. Uh, Krishna Swami, he couldn't make it uh, as his flight got delayed and got pushed to this afternoon. Um, who is a startup guy from Silicon Valley who could make it. And thanks, Pandraj, uh, for joining us. And I think today we want to hear more about Edu Tech and healthcare opportunities in India. Maybe elaborate a bit more um, you know, from your keynote speech. And we look forward to that. Uh, so with that, I think I'll, I'll uh, let the panelists introduce themselves and give some background about their organization and what their interests and scope for today's conversation. So let's go with the first uh, uh, Raj Prasad. Uh, yeah, Hello, uh, my name is Raj Prasad. I'm from uh, Chicago. I work for a company called TransUnion. Uh, I'm guessing most of you know TransUnion. We are one of the three credit bureaus in the world, actually. Uh, so even in, uh, in the US, we are you know we are one of the three, and we have operations in many countries across the globe, including uh, India. Uh, I know some of you are here from India. You probably heard of Civil. Uh, TransUnion actually owns uh, 70 plus percent of uh, Civil. So, you know, India is one of our uh, uh, strategic market for TransUnion and we are growing there. Uh, so, I have been with TransUnion for a little more than 15 years now. Uh, most of those 15 years I spent in IT, but the last uh, three years or so I moved on to the business side. Business on there, again, you know, TransUnion is an uh, information company. You know, it's not like, you know, we have some other product. Data and, and uh, information is our product. So my role is um, I'm a senior director, uh, data strategy, reporting into the chief product officer. So basically, even then, uh, my role is to bring in additional data into TransUnion. Obviously, even the uh, credit and uh, credit report is our uh, bread and butter, but that's not enough, right? We want to uh, diversify from the credit side and make ourselves as little more uh, global information services and information risk providing organization. So on the role of the Patina, then you need to bring in a lot more additional data. And so so my role is to bring in additional data into the company as well as try to figure out how you can monetize the existing data. So even though I came from a technology background, in today's role my, my role is more of a product guy. 
so I can, you know, I, my, I think I can provide some view from transitioning from technology into product side and how you can monetize the, the, the data. Um, so the, um, the, the applications that we use are pretty much the big data and then um, Hadoop and then whatnot. I mean, I don't want to go into the real technology side, but you know, basically the big data and the analytics are my, my focus areas. Um, Adilama, you know, I, I basically, my native is uh, a village uh, near Nagarkoi in Kanyakumari district in Tamil Nadu. So, Tamil Pesman, and on the we were one day a person, Maria, the mother of the Tamil Pesman, but I can still talk in Tamil. Uh, in the one day, I live in uh, Chicago with my wife and uh, two awesome kids. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So next is uh, uh, Madhu Kumar. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Madhu. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, again, I'm New Jersey. Princeton is where I live. Uh, I started my career. I also come from Kanyakumari district. Now, uh, I went to Bombay. Started my career in uh, nuclear science. Uh, I was a research scientist there for almost six years. As Mr. Ponda said, we will we call research means we keep on searching. You know, I was I was searching a lot, but I didn't find anything. So um, then I did my management degree from Sajad, General Sajad Institute. After that, the entire Indian IT industry boom started happening. You know, where global talent management was the issue for IT. Countries like US, Europe, and the natural way Indian government supported. IT and growth. I was part of it. Uh, I joined an organization. Uh, we grew that. Uh, then, as of last year, uh, through the process, I moved to Canada. Then I'm living in US now. Uh, over the past year, what I've learned, which I'll talk to the panel, is more of this trends which is changing from linear programming IT to cloud configuration things. I'll talk about it. As of last year, right now, I do more into MA. Today, I'm running a company called Digility, which was funded by a, a public sort of company in India, Aspect. Our core focus is to create valuable assets on the new technology and digital transformations. Thank you. My family is also sitting here. They are here. They are listening to me. Hopefully they don't find uh, errors in my speech. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Madhu. Uh, next is uh, uh, Mr. Ponrad. Uh, I think we still want to say, I think, you to say a few words. We all know that uh, you were uh, for a long time, you were the right hand for Dr. Abdul Kalam. So I think we could do that. வாய்ப்புகள் <laughs> இன்றைக்கு <laughs> Uh, five universities from India, two super specialty hospitals from India, and five universities from Africa, and the five university, super specialty hospitals from Africa to provide education and healthcare services to 53 African nations. And connecting all the 53 African countries with the e-government system. These are the three things which I have architected and finally it came out to be $125 million project and it has been accepted by the African Union and their pass a resolution that this is, even though in spite of many opposition from various developed countries, African Union accepted and they passed a resolution that this project from India will meet the Millennium Development Goals of Africa in education and healthcare and connect our presidents of various African countries to have a smooth relationship 
among the African nations. And today, 48 countries, they have uh, getting education services, 10,000 students have been graduated, and 5,000 doctors have been uh, given a, uh, after MBBS, they have given a diploma and certificate degrees from India. Uh, with this 8,000 hours of country medical education system, and the European Union has given a Hermes Innovation Award to this pair of the Inutor e Network for in the government of India. I think really with that experience in education and healthcare, I have done some little work, and with the education system, I have innovated a system called Responsive Remedy Classroom, which is a completely cloud-based system which can connect teacher and student and the parent only to one. So this system is totally interactive, collaborative and responsive and result oriented. Not only that, this will predict how the student will perform after six months or after eight months. How the student will, what area the student need a intervention, a mid-course correction. This completely will predict the behavior of the student and the behavior of the teacher and it will tell you and how the, the entire classroom, that is, Kattalin, Kettalin, Kettalin, Pathalin, 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 In the Nala or classroom, and the Nadisina, Avanda, in the Udahe Alakudia, or in Kalimana, other in the technology Mama implementation, but in the complete cloud system, cloud environment, and the big data, Hadu, everything is built in and completely it can challenge any of the system available in the world, which I can say, probably say that. Certainly, this will bring a transformational education <laughs> system. And the next, next opportunity that Kalam forced me to do, healthcare. For a PhD in a I am going to but you do PhD in healthcare, and only affordable healthcare using cloud computing. That is தேவையான <laughs> <laughs> நீங்க <laughs> In the stroke, heart attack, and the crucial hour and the patient a carpet and the body. In the key, wheat like a body, a grammar like a body, a patient with a button of that doctor around him. The Lati connected with a healthcare ecosystem that grew up with a PhD. And the PhD today snaps his movie in the Versa and a PhD movie that Kalam, our Mariba the Kitana Kirk Mumbai, you know, snaps his review meeting with it. Ramasandra, uh, July 16th, July 27th, he passed away in 2015. And the Kandipa had in the healthcare system an innovative ecosystem that could And the super solar hospital and the diagnostic services, uh, the, the laboratory, and the paramedician, and the local doctors available in the market, then mobile diagnostic clinics, and the telemedicine system, e pharmacy. Complete system that can be a standard order, a system that can be a standard innovation. So, in the end of technology, Kandipa has been a standard order, a standard order, a standard Kandipa a standard order, 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 a ஒரு <laughs> 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 
நான் இப்போ இருக்கிறது சார்லட் நார்த் கேரளாவில் ஊரில் இருக்கேன் எல்லாத்துக்கும் தாமரை ப்ரோகிராம் எல்லாத்துக்கும் தெரிஞ்சுருக்கும் நினைக்கிறேன் என்னை நான் அந்த அளவுக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் தெரியாது ஸோ தாமரையோட ஹஸ்பண்ட் அப்படின்னு கேட்டீங்கன்னா ஒரு தாமரை மதுரை மதுரை சுற்றி உள்ள ஊர்களில் தான் படித்தேன் நான் ஸோ ஐ வில் மிக்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் தமிழ் ஒரு சில விஷயங்கள் தமிழில் போர்வையாக பேச வராது ஏன்னா பழக்கம் இல்லை இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு இடங்கள்லையோ இந்த மாதிரி ஆட்களோட பேசும்போது பேசும்போதோ அந்த மாதிரி வாய்ப்புகள் கிடைக்கும் போது இன்னும் நல்லா இருக்கா அதில் தமிழில் பேச முடியும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஏரோனாட்டிக் டெவலப்மெண்ட் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்மெண்ட்னு ஒன்று பெங்களூரில் இருக்காங்க அதில் டூவிங் எல்சிஏ காப்பேட் சிம்பிளேட்டர் அப்போ வந்து ஒன் ஆஃப் த ப்ரொடக்ஷன்ஸ் ஹூ கேம் அண்ட் லுக் அட் வாட் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் வாஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் அப் கலாம் அப்போ வந்து அவங்களை பார்த்து சிரிச்சுட்டு எப்போ சிமிலேட்டர் சிமிலேட்டர் ரொம்ப நாளாக சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கீங்க என்னைக்கு பா பண்ணால் போகிறீங்க பிகாஸ் பாய் டைம் யூ கேஸ் பி டன் வித் திஸ் ஐ வில் பில் த ரீயூசபிள் மிசைல் சிஸ்டம் தட் இஸ் கோன் டெலிவர் அட் கம் பேக் அப்படின்னு ஸோ ஐ ரிமெம்பர் வாட் ஹி ஹஸ் அச்சீவ் நாட் ஓன்லி பிகாஸ் இந்த டெக்னாலஜி பட் ஹவ் ஹி ஹஸ் இன்ஸ்பைர்ட் பீப்புள் ஹோப்லி வி கேன் வி கேன் லிவ் அப் டூஸ் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் ஸோ தேங்க் யூ ஸோ நான் என்னோடய கழிவில் ஐ ஹவ் டன் அதோட பெஸ்ட் ஃபியூ திங்ஸ் இங்கே ஐ ஸ்டார்ட் வித் டெக்ஸஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரூமெண்ட்ஸ் இன் இந்தியா ஸ்டோ வி டெக் இன்டர்கிரேட்டட் ஐசி டிசைன் ஸோ வி தாட் இட் வில் பி ஜ் ஆஃப் தேர் சென்ஸ் தென் ஐ நோ ஐ கேம் அவுட் டு த ஸ்டேட்ஸ் வி ஒர்க்ஸ் வித் கன்சல்டிங் கம்பெனி வித் டெக் வித் இடிஎஸ் ஐ வாஸ் வித் இடிஎஸ் டிஃபரெண்ட் கன்சல்டிங் ஆஃப் வேர் வி வில் டூயிங் நாட் ஓன்லி மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் கன்சல்டிங் பட் வி ஆல்சோ Some technology um, worked with a big bank, for a while, and now with PayPal. In PayPal, I, uh, I, I worked in the corporate side, I worked for the CIO of PayPal, uh, managed the infrastructure and operations team as a work group, but I also lead the cloud strategy for the company, uh, I, for, for the corporate side. I co-lead the collaboration strategy also for the company. And then a uh, few other things that I need, including the security. Uh, how, do we, how do we make sure that whatever we do, uh, security. Like that's one of my charters. Now, I have a technology that I use for a while. I changed several fields. One of the things I always tell people is it's not about technology. Right? How do you really enable uh, people to do what they need to do? So, it's basically what I'm doing. But what is the purpose of it? So, I think uh, I still tell my team, that it's about really the purpose and drive the outcome, right? It's not about the technology. So that's the first thing that I would say, right? So, so always think about uh, what is the purpose and how do we really drive the outcome. Now, we get very emotional about these things, but it's really about the purpose of what is that we are trying to do and how do you really drive the outcome. Uh, and also, over a period of time, we were very fortunate to be at a time where the technology has really revolutionized really tremendous opportunities for us, right? So, how do you really make sure that you leverage all of that? Uh, security is one of the things, right? So, we cannot continue to do what we were doing security-wise, right? Maybe we were thinking about, we are going to just detect what is what's happening and respond to it. Now, I think you will tell me about it. Newspaper leopard signal, you know, every day there is something about security, some kind of an attack, you know, the frequency, the sophistication has increased. So then, how do you think about responding to that, right? There are technologies available. So you have to start real early on how you really think about security and make sure that you are going beyond just the type of response. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, we already see that 10 minutes left. Oh, okay. sorry. So sorry. And then uh, we will also talk about some other emerging technologies. We are going to 